a team of lifeguards from the hit show Baywatch, and he went right in behind her to save her like the good lifeguard he is. Battling against troublemakers. You want to win? You gotta yes. be angry. From oh. Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Empire. Well, I'm a kick butt type of chick. That is so not fair. I'm Howard Cosell. ABC showed its resiliency. They'll take the field where the stars of the 70s once went head to head. The baddest of the bad. How many people have you guys killed on TV? Yeah, I killed thousands <laughs> upon thousands. <laughs> we'll make this anything but a day at the beach. We got a channel. Ain't a hassle hop. Oh. Please be our guiding light, huh? So put up your dukes and get ready for rough waters. I mean, there could be a shark in there. Lifeguards. Oh, yes. Versus troublemakers. Troublemakers! Oh. This is Battle of the Network Stars. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the spectacular campus of Pepperdine University in Malibu, California. I'm Mike Greenberg. And I'm Joe Tessitore. So glad you're with us for Battle of the Network Stars. Our entire summer has been a loving homage to what was a television spectacular in the late 70s and the early 80s, hosted by the great Howard Cosell and featuring the biggest stars in television running around and competing on these very same athletic fields. It wasn't for the championship of the world, but it didn't matter. When the celebrities laced up their sneakers and put on a swimsuit, they wanted it badly. They wanted the thrill of victory, and unfortunately, sometimes they got the agony of defeat. And today we've got a terrific matchup for you. TV lifeguards against TV troublemakers. First up on the red carpet, a woman who needs very little introduction, Cookie Lyon's troublemaking sister on the hit show Empire, Vivica A. Fox. I remember watching this as a kid, and now to be an adult and be a star and be here in beautiful Malibu and ready to kick some butt. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All the way from Hazard County, Georgia to Malibu, it's Daisy Duke herself, the legendary Catherine Bond. And for the TV lifeguards, we've got a full lineup of Baywatch All-Stars. How many times did we see her run up the beach in slow motion? It's Gina Lee Nolan. Are you very competitive? I was on Baywatch for five years. <laughs> I think we've all found ourselves wishing we could trade places with this Baywatch honk at one time or another. Here comes David Chokichi. And who didn't dream of being rescued at sea by Summer Quinn? Here's Nicole Eggert. And here's a woman who caused trouble for centuries as the vampire Darla on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's Julie Benz. I'm nervous. No! <laughs> what are you most nervous about today? I'm so competitive. <laughs> I'm scared of myself. I'm the girl that will cry if I lose. He stirred up lots of trouble for one small town in North Carolina. It's Paul Johansson from One Tree Hill. You know, I hear with them, they're, they're trash talking already, and, and you know, I'm not impressed. Yes. Um, they're not going to dazzle us with the good looks or anything like that. It's going to be a beating. And plus, we will cheat to win because we are the villains after all, so. And you know him as one of the Hardy Boys, but he was also in the very first Baywatch and directed many of the episodes, making him one of the legendary lifeguards. Here's Parker Stevenson. Let's beat the starting lineup for the red team, TV lifeguards. Brandy Roderick, Baywatch, San Diego, California. David Chokichi, Baywatch, Plymouth, Massachusetts. Parker Stevenson, Baywatch, New York, New York. Gina Lee Nolan, Baywatch, Duluth, Minnesota. Nicole Eggert, Baywatch, Los Angeles, California. And now let's meet the starting lineup for the blue team, Troublemakers. Vivica A. Fox, Empire, baby, Indianapolis, Indiana. John Barrowman, Arrow, Joliet, Illinois. Julie Benz, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel, Pittsburgh. Paul Johansson, One Tree Hill, Spokane, Washington. Catherine Bach, Dukes of Hazard, Encino, California. Ronda Rousey and Demarcus Ware are the coaches, while Cassidy and Carrie are the outstanding reporters. Let's just get after it. My first impression upon meeting the lifeguards was I was going to have an easy day. I mean, they were already fully motivated and ready to go and in great shape. I'm just pretty much along for the ride with them today. Boom. Stretch out our hamstrings and okay. make sure our hearts can pump We're villains. Yes. We don't have hearts. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Today, everybody's a villain. 
And with Dylan's come competitors and ego. Time to put the blazing shoes on and take it to the track. So I know the only thing I needed to do is let them do what they want to do best, and they'll come out winners. This is Parker sprinting. Yeah. <laughs> Decades ago on this very track, you twisted the ankle coming around the home stretch and still managed to gut it out for the win. I remember running around that last turn and twisting my ankle. Look at that, turned his ankle, but still holds together, Bruce. So it's safe to say you won't be taking part of the relay run today. Definitely. Spraining my ankle was my greatest athletic achievement. <laughs> so that's what we're working with, Coach. First, what we're going to do, who has the blazing speed? And who's just gonna bring us back home, okay? I love playing strong female roles. The most amazing scene in Kill Bill was the opening scene with me and Uma Thurman where it was like, these girls aren't gonna be like tossing hair and doing a break commercial. They're some badass chicks and they're kicking butt. And I'll never forget the last day of filming that I woke up, I counted, I had over 30 bruises on my legs. And I was proud of them though too. I was like, ooh, ooh, I did that. The ladies of Baywatch will be running the first three legs of the relay for the lifeguard team. We, we came person. in today wearing the same, same color, shirt, same pants, jeans, and now the same nail polish. <laughs> yeah. I was really excited to see Nicole and Gina. We've been friends for many, many, many years, and so we came on the show. We're you know texting each other. What are you wearing? You know, are you getting in a bathing suit? You know that all that stuff. <laughs> Julie Benz will be running in the anchor position for the Troublemakers. I was the fastest girl in fifth grade. Get about running. 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 I love playing Darla. She was a 400-year-old blood-sucking vampire from hell. And I like to think of her as being misunderstood, not necessarily a villain. She just happened to kill people, but, you know, you gotta eat. Okay, we're about ready to go. Remember, both teams have three women, which has been fairly rare for us this summer. I want to focus in on who opens this race. That's what I like. She's ready to go. Ready to go. Vivica Fox is an excellent athlete. If she gives the troublemakers the lead early, well, then the lifeguards could be put in trouble. Woo! Let's go! Love Come on, Nicole, you can do it! And here they go. The lifeguards start with Nicole Eggert. And the troublemakers have Vivica A. Fox, one of the stars of the wildly popular Empire. Vivica giving the troublemakers a really good jump in this race. The troublemakers get set for John Barrowman to run the second leg. Meanwhile, Nicole exchanges with Randy Roderick. And trailing significantly, she has a big task in front of her. Look at her, she's got wheels, look at her go! You know, Brandy's used to running in slow motion down the beach, but look at her, she is fast on the track. Come on, Brandy! The troublemakers ahead for the moment as Paul Johansson takes over. If you're a fan of One Tree Hill, you know this guy brought new meaning to the word trouble as Dan Scott. Brandy hands off to Gina Lee Nolan, who stumbles at the start there. Nolan, a bit of a Nordic ski motion to her running style. 45-year-old Julie Benz will have one lap around. Gina Lee Nolan slowing down before she hands off that baton. Chokachi will have ground to make up. Greeny, Davis doing a nice job of managing his pace. He's going to leave something in the tank here. We have seen a lot of runners burn themselves out coming out of the gates too fast, but that's a big lead that she has. Can he make it all up? Let's go, Julie! Julie Benz competed in the 1988 U.S. Championships in junior ice dancing. If anything, she's increasing the lead right now. He's not catching up at all. She's opening up more ground. She makes the turn for home. This was a very well-managed win for the Troublemakers with ease. There you go. Good job. I know you don't want to hustle. We're going <laughs> David Chokachi finishing up. It looked like the lifeguards had youth on their side, but the troublemakers put together a far oh better relay God. team. How'd you feel on that final anchor lap? It was fun. I said, do not try to get out here and run like Hussein Bolt. And she said, I am going to run like Hussein Bolt. Right. She was giving me one of these. I said, you know what? Let's do it then. Let's do it. Come on! Okay, here we are at the pool for three events, swimming, the kayaking, and the dunk tank. Here's how the swim relay works, two against two. Ladies first, men second, 25 meters across. 
one would assume the TV lifeguards will be very comfortable in this environment. Yeah, no doubt about it. If they could pick anybody in their five athletes, they're going to be great. They're going to look great. Let's go down to the pool. How many people have you guys killed on TV as characters? I've killed thousands upon thousands. <laughs> it's really great playing Malcolm Merlin on Arrow because people think the smile and the warm smile, it's going to be a good guy, and then I turn out to be total opposite. So if I ever smile at you, you should be worried. <laughs> Swimming for the Troublemakers, it'll be Vivica A. Fox and John Barrowman, while Brandy Roderick and David Chokichi step up for Team Lifeguards. Out of all of them, oh, we yeah. have to win this one. Yeah, for sure. I have all the confidence. we got to channel the show. Right? Yes. Hold on to Hasselhoff. <sighs> David, Hoff. where are you? Hoff inside. Hoff. 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 They watched the original show. It's honestly, it was one of the best jobs I've ever had. For me, it was like a kid in a candy store. I'm hanging out with my girlfriend's Pam on the show, or Carmen, and I'm beating up bad guys and scuba diving, and playing in the ocean it's like what's better than that um whatever stance you like i like my left foot forward okay you're you're giving out pointers for form okay i'm telling you i'm not i'm not jumping off like that okay let me mind my business okay <laughs> they be trying to think a sister ain't gonna swim but baby i got my cornrows ready and i'm about to take this pool and make it do what it do and show them yes black girls can swim mm-hmm Time for the swimming relay. Come on, Randy. You got this, girl. Man, guys got the errands. You know I got to look good when I'm swimming. Troublemakers! Yeah. Troublemakers! Yeah! Up next, the lifeguards storm the waters. Good job. You got it, buddy. You got it. Got it. And relive old memories. So you use this to save lives? Yes, I did. Many times. When Battle of the Network Stars continues as the teams are on the blocks for the start of the swim relay. Drop the makers! Yeah! Randy and Vivica. And a pretty even start between the lifeguards and the troublemakers. Vivica, as she did in the running relay, showing she's a good athlete, but Randy getting the best of her by a half a length right now as they come to the exchange. Hit the lane line for a moment as they come to the exchange. Hit the lane line for a moment as David Chokichi is off and swimming. John Barrowman into the pool at 50 years old. And the touch and the win as expected for the TV lifeguards, Brandy and David delivering. We see it time and time again. Vivica swam well, but in the end, rather than taking it all the way to the wall, she pulls up slowly. It was a poor exchange, and that's where they lost the time. The funny thing is I shot my opening titles for Baywatch here at Pepperdine at the other pool, so it's like I was channeling Cody Madison. <laughs> to the kayak race now. Let's find out who's getting in the boats. Don't dig in the water. Yeah. It's way more efficient to just paddle on the top. I did three Battle of the Network Stars, and I really enjoyed doing this show. And quickly, Kathy Bach goes out in front. It was a show that everybody could sit around the television and watch. I mean, how many shows like that do we have nowadays? That tank is cold. Maybe just Battle of the Network Stars. Do you even know exactly what these are? This is called a floaty. A floaty. This is the original See, floaty. I'm used to the... <laughs> Buoys. I know. So you were way before well, me. Well, I think this is. So you use this to save lives. Yes, I did. Many times. I missed On out. On TV. So we're ready, and a lot of star power in our kayaks today. We will begin with Parker Stevens. Oldest competitor we have here today, 64 years old. He's a two-time alumnus of Battle of the Network Stars. Can't remember how many times I did Battle of the Network Stars. It sort of became one long event. <laughs> Parker Stevenson leads ABC as the anchor man to the victory. But I know, I feel like I'm, I'm, I, I never left. That I've been on at the Pepperdine campus here, making Battle of the Network Stars for 35 years. He's going to be teamed up with Gina Lee. Meanwhile, Paul Johansson and Daisy Duke from the Dukes of Hazard, a three-time competitor in the past on battle. And they are up, Paul Johansson and Parker Stevenson. Very strong start for Parker Stevenson. He is out by three lengths right now ahead of Paul Johansson. Parker with great skill, as tight of a turn as we've seen in the series. He's extremely comfortable in that boat. Meanwhile, Johansson is lumbering just to make that turn. 
and Parker Stevenson will deliver a huge lead as Gina Lee Nolan will have to get in smoothly. And it was a good exchange between Stevenson and Nolan. Paul Johansson still trying to figure things out as he passes Gina Lee Nolan. And Nolan is having success. Just keep it steady and straight. Steady and straight. There you go. There you go. There we go. To the buoy for Gina Lee Nolan. TV lifeguards all too comfortable in the pool. You got it. Meanwhile, Catherine Bach, Daisy Duke from the Dukes of Hazard, at 63 years old, is in the kayak. She's actually pretty good. She has almost no chance to make up all the ground that was necessary. Meanwhile, victory in hand for the TV lifeguards as they win by a full length of the pool. A sensational effort from Parker Stevenson and Gina Lee Nolan. Here's our soccer event rules. Five kicks, various targets worth different points. Highest point total is your winner. Soccer's in my family, but it's not in my blood. Blood always on the brain for Julie Benz, coming from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She's starting off with Nicole Eggert kicking second. First kick heading for the corner. This is harder than it looks. Yes. Both women say they have no soccer experience. I bet she'd like to turn that net to dust right now. She's got to aim for yes. one. <laughs> Last chance to score now for Julie Benz, and she gets nothing. <laughs> Nicole Eggert only needs to score one goal for a victory. It. They watch as Summer Quinn makes it in for the win for TV Lifeguard. <laughs> Time for basketball. Paul Johansson played on the Canadian Olympic basketball team twice. Is that good? He's going up against Gina Lee Nolan, who has never played basketball a day in her life. But hey, someone has to go up against the Olympian. I was a former basketball player, played for my country for the Olympics, and, you know, led my university to the national championship game in Canada. Each competitor gets 25 shots, and the most in wins. Come on, Gina. Gina Lee's up first. Yeah, use your legs. Good job. Nolan used to be one of Barker's beauties on The Price is Right. Can't seem to okay. find her game yeah. here. Explode. Come on, baby. Let's go. Oh. All legs. Push hard. Bet Paul's relieved that this is a landlocked sport because we all know what Neely Capshaw is capable of in the water. Come on, let's do one. Gina isn't necessarily any competition for you, correct? This is not uh, Gina's fault. She's a competitor. She's an athlete. She's super positive. Look, she's, she's given everything she's got, and that's all the sports is, isn't it? Oh. Last one. Everything into this one. Last shot. No good. Gina finishes 0 for 25. The bar is set low for Paul. At this point, hitting the rim would be considered a victory. Game over, Paul easily gets the win, but continues to showcase his Olympic caliber sharpshooting anyway. How good is this guy? He sets a new Battle of the Network Stars record, hitting nine shots, and picks up another point for Team Troublemakers. Yay! The Troublemakers are down, but just by a single point, our score is three to two. Up next, Baywatch tries to put a vampire in the water. You're being very brave. We'll see I'm how it terrified. goes. And still to come, it's the obstacle course. Okay, so I'm going to get my punching on. As Battle of the Network Stars continues tonight. Welcome back to Battle of the Network Stars, where right now the troublemakers are down, but just by a single point, our score is 3-2. to two. As expected, the lifeguards have been very good in our water events, and we have one more now. Time for the dunk tank. Two players will sit, two players will throw. Hit the target on one of your three attempts, dunk your opponent, and score a point for your team. Is there a backstory as to why you're scared of water? Uh, sharks. <laughs> I saw Jaws when I was a little kid, and I don't know, I've never felt safe, even in a pool. I mean, there could be a shark in there. Julie Benz right now, just walking that plank to get in position. I might pass out. <laughs> you got this, Julie. Julie is afraid of heights and afraid of water, but it's time for her to overcome her fear. 
Listen, if you fall in, I will save you, okay? Okay. All right. David Chokachi will be the thrower. Don't go for it, David, please. Oh, you feel for her, don't you, Greeny? Kind of smile for camera. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right now, I'm a proud coach. Looking at Julie up there, she's really taking one for the team, and this is really heartfelt. Cody Madison from Baywatch, first throw. Right on the target, of course it was. That's one more point for the TV lifeguards. And he went right in behind her to save her like the good lifeguard he is. What a gentleman. David jumps right in after her to save her, and I just thought that was so sweet and thoughtful of him. What a sweetheart. Oh, that was adorable, actually. That was good. That was good. Awesome. Well, at least her fear didn't last long. Just as good as David's perfect strike was Ronda Rousey and the team's reaction. Jaws hitting the crown. And then it was Chokichi to the rescue. All right, Parker Stevenson's up there. Remember, he's been on battle before, but he's a newbie at the dunk tank. Didn't do this years ago. Okay. Well, you're not afraid of heights. At all. <laughs> John Barrowman will be throwing here. Parker. I was a huge fan of yours when you were a Hardy Boy. <laughs> oh, no. My first day shooting the Hardy Boys pilot, Sean and I spend at least half of it in our underwear. That kind of set the tone for the rest of my career. Then I come to Baywatch and I'm in trunks running around. <laughs> Lately, that's toned back a little bit, probably because I'm a little older. <laughs> no one cares. Fine with me. You were the smarter of the two. Yes, but obviously I lost my way because I'm sitting up here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll try to bring you down. You only have three throws, you know. See, that's terrible because I've just put myself under pressure. Hits it right away. <laughs> Parker Stevenson is down. Troublemakers have scored another point. <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm stunk in baseball! <laughs> One and done's everywhere here at the Aquatic Center. This is a very impressive display. Vivica! 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 All right, Vivica's up there. She seems to be having fun. Are you ready for this? No! Hey! What you got, girl? You trying to get even with me again? Trying to, you know? All right. You got this? Yes, take that jacket off. Show those arms! Show those arms! Honey. I love your toenail polish. Really cute color. Thank you. It's like Don't neon orange. Distract Don't let it distract you. What she got, y'all? Oh. Just off the mark on her first attempt. Strike one! That was just practice. She was close. Oh. Strike two! To the right, now. You're to the right. You're doing good. Here's Brandy. Last chance. Woo. Come on, one more. One more, girlfriend. Off the mark again, Vivica. Hey, Fox survived. You know what I'm saying? We know what you're saying. Gosh, each one was just a hair. It's great. Nicole Eggert takes the walk. Paul scores four to three. That's what I hear. You have the chance to tie things up. Right. If you can knock in Nicole. She's a very, very sweet girl I've known for a long time. And I hope that her uh, splash into the water is a smooth and effortless That's transition it. to the next phase. We'll see if you can tie things up. So. I've been so nice to you all day. I know, but you know what, this is impressive. <laughs> My favorite part about being a lifeguard, I think it really was just being able to be at the beach every day and call it work. The beach is just such a happy place for me, so that part of it was a dream come true. Are you nervous? My heart is in my chest. I'm unfriending you on Facebook. <laughs> Joe Hansen, right away. From the bird's eye view to our dunk vision cam, Nicole in full drop every way you can have it. Summer Quinn with a late summer splash. And the Troublemakers have tied up the score at four apiece. Here they come, the tug of war. Ah! But up next. I have a nickname of Whack Whack. Daisy Duke goes country club when Battle of the Network stars returns. Welcome back to Battle of the Network Stars, where we're all tied up tight. Our score is four apiece. 
Moving on to tennis now, where Vivica A. Fox of Empire... When was the last time you played tennis? Mm, girl. ...is up against Parker Stevenson of Baywatch. The rules in tennis are competitors will be served up 20 balls. The one who returns the most... On the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew mysteries, but there's no mystery here. He's hitting his mark. This guy's returning a whole lot of serves. Good job, Parker. Good form, Parker. Gee, that's fun. The machine has done its thing, and Parker's score is 12 out of 20. This is all I know. I see Serena and them do this. So Vivica needs to get 13 balls inbounds to get the win. See? One. And considering she doesn't play tennis at all. Okay. That's just not likely to happen. See, Parker, you're better than me. You get it. You got it. You got it. Look what? out. We may need to pass out some helmets to the sideline. Oh, a home run. I'm not going to lie to you, this is tough to watch. <laughs> Vivica A. Fox starred in both Kill Bill movies. Okay. Right now, I think she'd like to kill the tennis machine. I suck at this. There, there you go. go. Beauty. She finishes yeah. one for 20, with the victory going to Parker <laughs> Stevenson and the point to Team Lifeguard. I try. I try. Now it's time for archery. Brandy Roderick. Am I looking this way or this way? Is going up against John Barrowman, who should have a huge edge seeing as he plays the Dark Archer on the show Arrow. Miss, 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 miss. First shot on the outside edge. Second shot completely misses the target. Maybe he should use both eyes. It's not the kind of bow that I'm used to. I'm used to a compound bow, which is a different stance that you pull. Last shot. Barely hits the target. Malcolm Merlin must not be feeling good about that performance. I play a character on a TV show that <laughs> shoots bows and arrows. Oh, my. <laughs> so oh my that, God. though, is not very good. I'm shaking. Everybody clear out because Brandy's got a bow and an arrow. Brandy's first shot barely stays on target. Look at that. Brandy hits the blue ring. That is pretty good. And the final shot is in the red for the win. There's an upset. Brandy makes a big splash in archery and gets the point for the lifeguards. Can you believe you beat the guy who actually shoots bow and arrows on television? <laughs> Minor CGI. <laughs> The story is that you not only wore the Daisy Dukes, you created the Daisy Duke. Oh, yes, I did. The original look for Daisy Duke was a turtleneck sweater, a poodle skirt, and go-go boots. That did not sound good to me. And so I'd have those shorts in high school. So I, I brought the shorts in, and I brought a little top that I'd made, and they just said, that's it. That's the look. Over at the golf course, we've got David Chokachi of Team Lifeguards against Catherine Bach from Team Troublemakers. Golf is simple. One swing of the club, carry the water, and see where you land. Oh, she's opening the hips. She's getting hit. TV's Daisy Duke is up first. Swings? That's a flyer Uncle Jesse would be proud oh, of. Oh, she crushed it. Wow. I have a nickname of, of Whack Whack. Oh, what? Because I hit hard. Here's the swing from David. Headed for the trees. Not looking good. Come on, It'll yeah. come down to a tail of the tape as they measure this one out. What do we got here, Parker? Oh! David's cut far right with a distance of 120 feet. Oh, no. And just off the green with an impressive distance of 33 feet from the hole, that's Catherine Bach whacking a win for Team Troublemakers. You punch that thing and whack, whack. Whack, Get whack. The win. Wow, that's your new nickname for the rest of the show, whack, whack. Okay. And it's become a beautiful day down here by the ocean as we've got a really good battle going between the lifeguards and the troublemakers. It's time now for the obstacle course. Arguably, Greeny, the best matchup we've had all season long. Back and forth all day long, and now 10 points on the line here. Five for the women, five for the men. Tug of war away. Really critical decision. Who will run the obstacle course? Let's check in with the coaches right now, Demarcus and Ron. The main thing with this obstacle course, we'll call it the rat trap. You crawl under it or roll under it? I will crawl under it. Oh. oh, I think that's great. Yeah, do, do that, John. Yeah, but then I'm, I'm dizzy. <laughs> As a coach, you got to figure out how to make the troublemakers playmakers and figure out, okay, what is our best strategy? There you go. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's a booby trap. Okay. Exactly. Keep it low. You got to drop it like it's hot. You only have to touch them. Oh, 
Oh, so you could do every that. one. Being lifeguards, I expect them to run through that obstacle course like somebody's life depended on it. Oh, oh you got nice. that. You got it. All right, you got, right. got, you got it. Brandy, she had some speed on her, and I definitely have my eye on her for the obstacle course. There you go. Are you good for this reel? Yeah. My overall impression of Vivica is exactly what you see on TV. Fierce, diva, troublemaker, vicious. You add all of that together, and I think you'll have a champion. Just like... Consistent, exactly. Just like backdrops. I mean, I have the most fond memories of the show, and to like come full circle years later and be a contestant and compete, that's like a dream come true for me. Who's going to do this? I would like to pick... Brandy and David. We're Team Red. Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on. Team Red all day. Who's going for us? Who's our team? For the girls. Vivica going, going to go for the girls. And John is going to go for the guys. Vivica is fierce. She's a strong, powerful woman. I don't know if I can say this word. She's a badass. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get my punching on. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to get my, my, my kicks on. I'm going to get my climbing on. I definitely try to be an inspirational uh, woman, especially for Generation X, to let them know that they can have a career that spans decades, that they can gracefully go into each chapter of their career to not get older, but to get better. Well, I'll do my best to represent. Good luck. Thank you. Strong strike. I, I would assume that the slow motion jogs on the beach are recreational only at this point. Right. <laughs> what are you doing these days? Uh, yeah, I didn't... Well, I do real estate now, actually. Really? Yeah. Out here? Yeah, I'm your celebrity realtor, and that's like my whole little Shut thing. Up. That's yeah. like your actual thing? Yeah. I think I've been overcoming uh, the assumptions of the Baywatch babe uh, or, you know, the blonde girl my, my entire life, pretty much. So people probably don't know I've been a realtor since I was 18 years old. Being a mom of two little boys, I had to now pick a career where I can stay home and pick my hours. I don't know, I might be hitting me up. Yeah! <laughs> right. Okay, the decisions have been made. It will be Brandy and Vivica running amongst the women, then it'll be John and David for the men. I like the Baywatch versus Empire rematch here. We saw Brandy and Vivica at the pool. Brandy got the best of her in the swimming relay. Now they meet up again here at the obstacle course. Yeah. The women are first. Here we go. Coach me all the way through. I got you. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Brandy! Next, Vivica A. Fox tries to make trouble for Brandy Roderick. And the Dark Archer takes aim at Baywatch when Battle of the Network Stars continues. Welcome back to the beautiful campus of Pepperdine University in Malibu, California, where we've had a fierce battle going all day. The TV lifeguards right now leading the TV troublemakers by a single point. Our score is six to five. Five points on the line here between Brandy and Vivica A. Fox. To the rat trap they go. Both deciding to crawl through. Excellent start from Brandy Roderick. Onto the tires where Brandy, the former playmate of the year, comes out with the lead. The punch through for both contestants. Well, for a moment, Brandy got held up. And it's a little more even now on the monkey bars as they look to exit and to the rope swing. Don't get wet, stay clean. Even race so far up the cargo net. Neither competitor can afford a misstep here. Brandy got dug in with a knee for a moment, but she gets to the top first. Who will slide down? Brandy Roderick, her feet under her, and the former Baywatch star scores big for the TV lifeguards. So good. This was a tight race. Vivica came out of the gate slow and worked her way back to even, going to the up and over. Brandy kept a steady pace the entire way, and once she was on the net, she shot ahead and took the win. Was there just nothing but adrenaline? Because your hand is swollen and you punch through. I yeah, literally. I didn't feel anything. I was just like focused on the end result. So no, I didn't feel anything. Always give it 110 percent, and if you do that, you win no matter what. Congratulations, Brandy. Listen, Big. if uh, Chokachi can do his yes, best, come Back on, he can. I have snatched another camera from one of the production staff and I just want you to see the kind of behind the scenes that's going on right now. The only bit that I'm worried about is this, the bars, because I have a little bit of a rough shoulder. I'm going to get in trouble. No, you can't have it back. No, no. Quick, run. Run so they can't get me. Ooh. 
All right, a great performance by Brandy, putting the lifeguards out in front by six points, setting up a critical obstacle course race for these men. Troublemakers have to win or they're in trouble, but my money's on Chokichi. Mitch Buchanan trained this guy not to lose, especially when the situation demands it. And with five points at stake, I'd say his training is about to kick in. Let's see what happens. Let's go! Let's go! Here they go, the men in the obstacle course. David Chokichi taking on John Barrowman. Through the tires they are. Now the punch through. Pretty even so far between David and John. John, the blue team, TV troublemakers, desperate for a win. Now he's got a big lead as he makes it through the rope swing. Commanding lead for Barrowman. TV troublemakers need this one. Chokichi trying to make up ground. Here comes John. Malcolm Merlin from Arrow to victor. As Cody from Baywatch, David Chokichi walks his way to the line. You did awesome. Oh this race, another barn burner. John Barrowman got off the line, but his rat trap roll caught him up. Both men took to the tires like all pro linebackers, and everything was tight till the monkey bars, where Barrowman surged ahead, swung over the water with ease, and did the savviest thing we've seen all season. Scaled the rope ladder all the way on the edge, making it easier to climb with less of a chance of knocking you off balance. That was one of the best performances we have seen all summer long. It did not look like any of it gave you trouble. Are I mean, you kidding it, me? Which part of it gave you trouble? I thought I'm going to roll. I can roll quicker. But getting up, I was so dizzy. Those were a critical five points for your team. Well done. Great. Awesome. Good job. Only one point separates the leader as we head into the tug of war. A back and forth battle is settled with the tug of war. Can the lifeguard save it? Ah! Or is it trouble up ahead? Find out next. Ah! Terrific week this has been, and it all comes down to this. One point separating the teams. That's right, Greeny. On the lifeguards team, you have a lineup of fit and serious athletes that really know how to dig into the sand when they need to. And on the other side, Paul Johansson. This is winner take all. It will decide this week's edition of Battle of the Network Stars. We're gaining a little. We actually we choke up, right? Yeah. Slide up. You just keep going. Up, get right behind his armpit and then sit down while you do it. Yeah, yeah nice you, know. you want to win? Yes. You gotta yes. be angry. Yes. This, this yes. is not. This no. is not one of those like little garden parties. We're no. gonna get along. No, I don't want to get along with them. You can't get in trouble. This is anger. Paul's a beast. So he's gonna be our anchor, and he's gonna tug and really bring it home. The tug of war goes like this: pull that center point of the rope beyond your goal marker, and you win. Here goes nothing. Right. Listen to the coach. Gina, Gina, Gina slide back. back a tiny bit. Lifeguards against troublemakers for it all. And the tug is off. The lifeguards quick off the draw, gaining the initial advantage of about foot and a half. Oh, oh, we got it. Oh, Coach Ronda Rousey must be pleased with this impressive effort she's getting from the lifeguards. The lifeguard team, bookended by anchor Parker Stevenson, and the lead puller, David Chokichi, they are dug in to win. Come on, let's go! The troublemakers in a stand-up position, now power walking their way to an advantage. Meanwhile, TV lifeguards are trying to dig in their heels, as David, their lead puller, has his feet deep into the sand. Now nearly back to center here as the lifeguards made up some ground. Interesting that Paul is not attempting what we have termed the ox walk, where he turns and walks in the other direction. Right now they're finding a big surge of success by reaching out, grabbing rope, and just simply pulling with arms. Big surge by the TV troublemakers as Farrellman is gobbling up rope, and it is a victory with me. For the TV troublemakers, they win. There you go, Blue Team. There you go. You guys did so great. I'll tell you what, I thought the lifeguards hung in there fairly well. At one point, they started taking it back in their own direction. I thought they may actually turn the tide, but we figured Paul Johansson would have an enormous advantage, and in the end, I think he did. Hoorah! We won something today. Ah. Team Troublemakers. The troublemakers are our winners, but I'll tell you what, that was one terrific battle all day long. And so that is our season, that is our summer, and oh, the fun we had. In the end, it was a tie between DeMarcus Ware and Ronda Rousey. They each won five times. All right, so what did we learn? We learned that skill can often trump athleticism. 
Hey, they who? We learn that drive and determination. Ah, go, go, go! Don't stop! They call me Poseidon! Can never be underestimated. Fish been diving for the line! Never underestimate the hot buff guy. And in the end, we really learn that there's a fiery. Geek low! No! Competitive athlete. It's gonna be a search to the line! Go, 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 a stumble go, go, go. before! And Jack gets the tape! In everyone. Someone call my Uber, baby! Oh, and one more thing, too. When the two of us were kids, we both thought Howard Cosell had the best job in the world. There goes my blazer for Monday Night Football. All these years later, we found out we were right. There she goes! Oh! Look at the physics, Greeny! To the wire! What a finish! Dynamite! Is there such a thing as a TKO in kayaking? This is it right here. Oh, the humanity! <laughs> Baby, you were good. Hey, Poppy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> for Cassidy, Carrie, Joe, and our entire team, this is Mike Greenberg saying thank you so much for being with us and good night. <laughs>